about a third of the turtles we see that come in have some form of boat strike injury, you know, propeller cut on their carapace or uh, just hit by the boat directly. Um, those, if they're not killed outright, uh, take quite a while to heal. And if you go 10, 20 miles offshore, um, these little guys are living in the Sardassum, kind of in the center of the Gulf Stream, center of the Atlantic. And these rafts of Sardassum provide them with food and everything else. But if you ever go out there and take a look at this, it's full of bits of plastic all over the place. This is a little sea turtle, little cilantro. This was her footprint when she came in. And this was the amount of plastic that was in that sea turtle's body. The Phoenix initially came into us with a boat strike, uh, which is not unusual. Then what we do is we always do a, an x-ray on our sea turtles, and this is what was in her throat, this big hook. We were able to remove that hook, and that is a shark hook. And it turns out the wider and taller the condos are, the more shade they put on the beach from the sky glow city lights behind it. And in that shadow, the turtles are all coming in and clustering. So it's uh, also causing disorientations of the adult females and the hatchlings themselves. Uh, we're beginning to see lethal disorientations of the hatchlings. seems to be associated with a herpes-like virus um, and what it causes is these nasty big gross warty tumors on the soft tissue of the turtle or in their eyes and or in their eyes and some of these tumors can get so big that the turtle has trouble swimming obviously if it's over their eyes they can't see so they can't eat the really interesting thing about the disease is that you only find it on turtles that are in water that is of compromised quality, so nastier water.